Hello friends, welcome to Linda Linthicum United Methodist Church. We are going to have a big celebration here this Sunday. It's an exciting event. We have been able to pay off our mortgage debt, which is a wonderful thing for 20 years every month. We've been making big payments, uh, smaller as the time has gone by, but still big payments to a mortgage company to pay for the expansion of the building that happened 20 years ago. It's a, a long commitment, isn't it, for any building, but it has been a long commitment to, to pay for that as well. And finally, it is done, and we're gonna celebrate that in fine style. As we've been planning, it has been clear and becoming clearer all the time about all the people for so long who have been involved in making this happen. We've thought about the people who first dreamed that there might be some more space because there just wasn't enough space in the original building. We've thought about the people who planned and dreamed and, and worked with architects and reworked and uh, did all of the, the work that needed to be done to prepare for the road and the access and all of those things. We've talked about all of the people who started raising money because that was a big deal, and those who gave money, and those who got all the plans together until finally there was an opportunity to break ground. And then uh, finally the, the building was built and has been used, and that's a wonderful thing, but there was this big debt that needed to be paid and it's taken quite a while but we've gotten it done. I was thinking that God has given so many gifts over the years to so many people. There have been the gifts of those who were planners and dreamers who envisioned what might be that has come into being thought about the gifts of those who had some management and financial gifts who were able to figure out how to make it all happen over time, about the people who have the gift of generosity who have continued to give and to contribute, about the people who have the gift of teaching and the gift of charisma to gather people together in the space that we now have in order to teach the love of God, the grace of Jesus Christ to anyone who wants to hear about it. I think about the music that has been made and the laughter and the, the lock-ins and sleepovers in the great room and all of the things that have happened and the leaders that have made that happen. And I'm reminded that in the scriptures, it says that the gifts that were given, the spiritual gifts that were given, are not just for us. They're not given just for us to make us feel good or make our lives better. Scripture says that the gifts are given for the good of the body, that God blesses individuals for the good of God's world, for the good of God's community. And so all of the folks who have offered their gifts in and through this community of faith have made a difference. It's something that God gave them the ability to do, whether it's been in the way they serve, in the way they give, in the way they dream, in the way they share, whatever it is, God has given the gift and that person has been willing to do with the gift what God wants done to have it shared. That's what we'll be celebrating this Sunday. It's going to be a joyous, joyous time. And if you're seeing this, and if you haven't yet said that you're coming, please do come out, worship at 10 o'clock, uh, luncheon afterwards, and a time to celebrate all that God has done in and through the people of Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. Thanks be to God. Amen.